you feel like other people have given up on you, don't ever give up on yourself. Every single one of you has something that you're good at. Every single one of you has something to offer. And you have a responsibility to yourself to discover what that is. My father left my family when I was two years old. And I was raised by a single mom who had to work and who struggled at times to pay the bills and wasn't always able to give us the things that other kids had. There were times when I missed having a father in my life. There were times when I was lonely and I felt like I didn't fit in. So I wasn't always as focused as I should have been on school. And I did some things that I'm not proud of. And I got in more trouble than I should have. And my life could have easily taken a turn for the worse. But I was, I was lucky. I got a lot of second chances. And I had the opportunity to go to college and law school and follow my dreams. My wife, our first lady, Michelle Obama, she has a similar story. Neither of her parents had gone to college and they didn't have a lot of money. But they worked hard and she worked hard so that she could go to the best schools in this country. Some of you might not have those advantages. Maybe you don't have adults in your life who give you the support that you need. Maybe someone in your family has lost their job and there's not enough money to go around. Maybe you live in a neighborhood where you don't feel safe or have friends who are pressuring you to do things you know aren't right. There is no excuse for not trying. Where you are right now doesn't have to determine where you'll end up. No one's written your destiny for you. But whatever you resolve to do, I want you to commit to it. I want you to really work at it. I know that sometimes you get that sense from TV that you can be rich and successful without any hard work. That your ticket to success is through rapping or basketball or being a reality TV star. Chances are you're not going to be any of those things. The truth is, being successful is hard. And you won't necessarily succeed at everything the first time you try. That's okay. Some of the most successful people in the world are the ones who've had the most failures. J.K. Rawlings, who wrote Harry Potter. Her first Harry Potter book was rejected 12 times before it was finally published. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. He lost hundreds of games and missed thousands of shots during his career. But he once said, I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. These people succeeded because they understood that you can't let your failures define you. You have to let your failures teach you. You have to let them show you what to do differently the next time. So if you get into trouble, that doesn't mean you're a troublemaker. It means you need to try harder to act right. If you get a bad grade, that doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means you need to spend more time studying. No one's born being good at all things. You become good at things through hard work. 